Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be covering the new Yield Max short option income strategy ETFs that are coming soon. We're going to be covering the tickers in it, and uh, I'm just going to say my quick thoughts on them. So, we all know the long ones, you know, we love them for their income. These are pretty much the same, but they're the opposite, so they're not the same. Uh, they replicate a short position using a synthetic. And instead of selling calls, they're uh, selling puts to make their income, which on some of these stocks, you know, the puts, the put premium is actually more than the call premium, which we'll take a look at. Uh, I, they also have long out of the money calls just to protect the ETF because note here, uh, the maximum losses are capped at the strike price of the long out of the money calls and may be up to... 100% of your investment. So these long calls are, they're going to be, you know, way out of the money. They're just cheap to kind of cap off the losses is what it's sounding like. You know, we won't know for sure until they're fully released. And, you know, maybe people start tracking these. That'd be cool. But it, from what that sounds like to me, it sounds like, you know, say Tesla's at 150 bucks right now. It sounds like they'll be buying calls at 300 but it also says May, so we don't know for sure again. So, yeah. Uh, these could be interesting because look at Tesla here. You know, in the past year, they're up. They're uh, down 4%. So that, that could be interesting. But if we look at Coinbase, you know, Coinbase, after a Bitcoin bull run, you know, it doesn't, it, it, it did nothing. It just went down. And then it stayed flat. So that's what could happen again. And, you know, they're actually releasing a Coinbase one because here's the tickers. The ones that they filed for is uh, Tesla, which that's the ticker there. Crash, I guess. It's kind of funny. And then they got the ARC one, which would be O-A-R-D. And then they got the short NVIDIA, which would be dips. All these tickers don't really match each other, which is kind of weird. And then uh, they got the sh short Coinbase one, which is Fiat. And then the short Apple one, which is Rotten. Rotten Apples. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And yeah, so these these basically work the same, but they're short. And they're selling puts. Fee is also the same there. And if you look at uh, the covered put writing right here, it says they'll sell them approximately 0 to 15% below the underlying's price at the time of such sales they use very specific writing in these so yeah will i be buying these i'm not sure you know i'm i i really don't like to be bearish on stocks you know waking up and then hoping a stock is down i don't really like the idea of that but i i gotta show you the option options chain on tesla because this is where it gets interesting so right here is the options chain for Tesla. And just ignore my writing for a second. Tell me which side you think pays more just by the looks of it. Like if you thought the put side, you'd definitely be right. So since they're selling puts, they can grab a little bit more premium. And it leads me to believe maybe the short Tesla uh, ETF might actually yield higher than what Tesla is yielding right now, which is like 60%. So maybe it'll yield like, you know, 80% just because they're selling puts. But that can also change when, you know, Tesla becomes super bullish again, then, you know, puts will obviously decrease in value. Like for example, here, $5 out of the money and a call will yield you 1%. But if you do the same for a put, it'll yield you 1.57%. And if you're getting that every week too, keep in mind this is like eight days. Usually they sell it on Thursday, so it might be a little bit inflated. But still, the puts right now, it looks like they're selling for a higher premium. So these could be interesting. I don't know if I'm going to be buying them just because I don't. I really don't like shorting stocks. You know, I'd rather see everything green. I don't want to get happy seeing a company fail or anything like that, but... They could also be good for trading too. You know, if Tesla's going through a bad 
rotation or an earning cycle or you know whatever you could hold these etfs for like three to six months while tesla's just getting beaten like we've seen it in the past two months here but again i think yield max should seriously consider about adding or looking at different companies because you know if they did like a company like lucid or like some of these weed companies they these etfs could be straight money you know if they made a lucid one look how good they would have done in the past five years seriously so let me know what you guys think of these etfs are you gonna be buying them make sure you like give me a subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching